This is a product I was sent by a company called Atwood Rope Manufacturing. They're based out of Ohio, and they've been in business since 1985. So I go to their webpage. First thing I see is made in the USA. Boom, I'm in. It's a spool winder hanker, basically for paracord. If you've watched my videos, you know that I teach how to hank paracord. A lot of people have problems with the hanking. They don't have the time, and that becomes an obstacle for them to go out into the woods, go camping. So a product like this solves that problem for someone. No more spider's webs and disasters, right? That frustrates you. You've got a big pile of rope, you uh, give up. I've been playing with it, it's actually really cool. So let me show you some of the features. So the product we're looking at here today is called the Ready Rope. And you can see it's just a plastic system for you to hank or wrap your paracoat around. What I think is cool about it is that it has a cutter, so there's a razor blade here. I'm gonna attempt to pop that out because I think you could replace that. Looks like I can get in there. It's got this little grabber here, so you can grab the paracord when you're done with it. Got a nice little anchor loop here, so I'm gonna attach a carabiner to that. This could be hooked up to the outside of your pack or something. But the coolest thing is it's got this little compartment in the bottom that holds a big lighter. You see that it fits right in there. Now check the cap to see how secure it is. It's got some pretty good tension on it. What I'm going to do is lay out a bunch of different items, you know, a little EDC or survival stuff and stick it in here, see what we can get in. But I like that a lot because now you've got a lighter on you for starting fires, but also for, you know, curing the paracord. I always bring it to a little flame. And I think, I don't know, but it's got this divot here. And I think that's probably for this, right? For smushing the paracord when you're done with it. You know, because we all use our fingers and get burned all the time. It comes with 100 feet of 550, and it's good stuff. Here we go, let's try this. There it is. Oh, I didn't even touch that. That was like nothing. <laughs> that's beautiful. Yeah, let's try it again. It's almost no, nothing. I barely, just like a feather over it. Real clean cut. Let's see how many strands we've got. Should be seven. And there you go, seven. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. So on this blade, there is a little groove here below, and you can pop that cover off, replace the blade. So this thing will cut sharp forever. So as an experiment, I've laid out a bunch of different things, right? A little medical kit, fire, some chapstick, little compass, little light, some gorilla tape. Let's see what'll fit in here. Maybe a little fishing kit you could put together. Let's see what fits in here. So the first thing I would do to this, to modify it, would be to attach a carabiner. So it's got this nice, you know, loop here. And then this could be hooked up to the outside of your bag. So. Nice little loop there. And this is heavy duty. This feels like, you know, if you have a Glock, it feels very similar to that polymer. So it's, it's tough. Okay, so here you can see on the bottom, it's got this little cap. Pop that off. And we saw that a full-size Bic lighter fits in there. Chapstick. Yeah, fits in no problem. Little button compass. Make a little med kit. Ibuprofen, some aspirin. Tums, little Benadryl, throw in your chopstick, that's good, nice fit. Again, you'd want to pack it with something so it doesn't rattle around on you. This is an expandable little tissue. Basically, you just put some water on it and it, boom, gets real big. It's a great little tool for toilet paper in the field or washing your face, cleaning yourself. See if a wet fire, wet fire will fit. Looks like just squish it down a little bit. So there you go. That's a good little emergency fire kit for you. Here's a beeswax candle. I'd say that's, you know, about the same size as the Bic. No, it's longer. That's got to be about almost four inches. And that fits right in there. Little emergency light. I carry this on my, um, as my EDC light. Fits in. Do a little fishing kit. This little bobber doesn't quite fit in. 
Well, it would if you squished it. But you see where I'm going. You could do all kinds of things with this. Hide things in there. Money. You know, I don't know who's going to take money after the apocalypse, but hey. Money. Emergency. Yeah, fits in no problem. Gorilla glue. You got to get yourself right. Get some cuts. Aqua tabs. So you can see where I'm going with that. Anytime you've got a little compartment, you could build little kits, right? A fishing kit, a medical kit, fire kit. So that's pretty cool. It weighs in at 9.5 ounces with 100 feet of 550 on it. So that's just over half a pound. This one is coming in at $16.99 at the time of this video. And I believe if you just want the polymer frame, the plastic frame, I believe it's $9.99. A very cool product. I would definitely recommend this to anyone who is just beginning to cut out that frustration that hinders you from going out and doing things because you're so overwhelmed with the spider's web of paracord. Right? It's like Christmas lights. <laughs> Nightmare. This definitely solves a lot of issues. So that's a quick look at the Ready Rope by Atwood Rope Manufacturing. You can find them at atwoodrope.com. Great product. Check them out. Hang tough.